Hello, good evening. God bless you. Hope that you're having a great weekend. And I pray God is protecting you and your family. Would you join your hearts in prayer with me? Heavenly Father, I come before you in the name of Jesus. Speak to us now in your word. I commit this time to you. I glorify your name. Your word is powerful. Your word will never pass away. Your word is like a two-edged sword that pierces our hearts. Holy Spirit, speak to every heart that is watching, that will watch this video, and draw those that know you closer to our Savior. But I also pray that, Holy Spirit, that you would convict those that do not yet know you, and that they would come to know Jesus as Lord and Savior. I commit this time to you. I glorify your name in Jesus' name. Amen. I wanted to share tonight that Jesus can open the eyes of the blind. I read out of Mark chapter 10, powerful story here, verse 46. Now they came to Jericho as he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great multitude. Blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the road begging. And when he had heard it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out, saying, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. So the picture, Jesus is with the multitude as many times the multitudes would be around him. He was with his disciples. They were just departing from Jericho, just coming out, and all those beggars there. But there was one beggar, Bartimaeus sitting on the side of the road. He could not see Jesus as he was blind physically, but he can hear the commotion of the crowd and the multitude. But when he heard it was Jesus, the Bible says, he began to cry out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. What an amazing thing. When he found out it's Jesus, he cried out, Jesus, have mercy on me. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. That's the first thing that God wants all of us as human beings to do as a sinner. Is call out to him and ask him for forgiveness and mercy. You see, this man was born blind. He was also physically blind since birth. But you know what? The Bible says that the natural man, 2, 1 Corinthians 2.14, the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. You see, this man was born blind, and but he knew when he heard Jesus, he knew who, who could heal him. He knew that Jesus could restore him. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Let me just say this. Jesus can heal. Jesus can restore. Jesus can save. But we got to call out to him. We got to turn to Jesus and cry out to him. But you know what's interesting? Look what happens next in verse 48. Then many warned him, the crowd. Remember I said there's a multitude there. The crowd. Then many warned him to be quiet. But he cries out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Brothers and sisters in Christ, the world many times will tell us and try to tell us, as the enemy will try to tell us to be quiet, we need to cry out to God, but we need to cry out in truth of God's word, in love. But we need to cry out, just like this blind beggar did, to Jesus. The crowd was telling him, warning him to be quiet, but he cried out all the more. Son of David, have mercy on me. Let's listen to God. Let's listen to what Jesus says and what God calls us to do as believers. Let's speak the truth in love, but let's not be quiet. Let's not be silent of God's word. This man yet did not know physically with his eyes who Jesus was, how, what he looked like. He knew that it was Jesus. He, I'm sure he knew about him, but his eyes were about to be opened powerfully by Jesus. 
but he cried out all the more. Even after the crowd was telling him to be quiet, he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. So I love this, the personal touch of Jesus as he's Savior and Lord and God as he is. So Jesus stood there and commanded him to be called. Then they called the blind man, rising, or saying to him, Be of good cheer. Rise, he is calling you. What's powerful is that Jesus, in the midst of a crowd, knew that that man was calling him. You're, just, you're not just a number. Listen to this, by the power of the Spirit of God. You are not just a number here on earth. God knows who you are. In the midst of a crowd, he sees you. In the midst of many people, billions of people here on this planet, God sees you. He knows you. He knows if you know him. He knows if you don't know him. He knows if you love him. He knows if you hate him. But in this case, this blind man, he knew of Jesus, but he knew that Jesus could heal him. He knew that Jesus could restore him. And Jesus called him and the crowd said, rise, he's calling you, be of good cheer. And I love this, verse 50, and throwing aside his garment, Bartimaeus, he rose and came to Jesus. And I love the humbleness of the servant heart that we see here of Jesus. So Jesus answered and said to him, to Bartimaeus, what do you want me to do for you? What a question. What do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, Rabboni, which means teacher, Rabboni, teacher, that I may receive my sight. He wanted to see as he was blind. The Bible, in, the Bible says here in verse 52, Then Jesus said to him, Go your way, your faith has made you well. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus on the road. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 3 and 4, But even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing, whose minds the God of this age has blinded, who do not believe, lest the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. You see, Satan has blinded the eyes of those who have not yet believed. We need to be praying for those that do not yet know Jesus, but we also need to be faithfully praying and sharing the love of Christ and the gospel with them. You see, this man, he was about to have his eyes open by Jesus himself. Wow. He was about to be healed by Jesus. His physical eyes were powerfully going to be opened by this teacher, Rabboni, Jesus. And he said to, to this man, Jesus said in verse 52, Go your way, your faith has made you well. The Bible says that without faith it's impossible to please God. We need Jesus. We need to put our faith in him. This man truly believed that Jesus could restore him, that Jesus could heal him. But I love this. After his eyes were open, it says immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus on the road. It's powerful. When God opens this man's eyes, the first pre person he sees is Jesus. But the next thing that he does is follows Jesus. When God saves you through his son, Jesus Christ, you're not blinded anymore to the things of the world. And let me just say to the things of God, rather. You are not blinded by Satan any longer. Because God has saved you through his son, Jesus Christ. And you can see the light of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And your eyes are open now to the things of God. And the first person this, this man saw, this blind beggar, he's not blind anymore. Because Jesus made him well. And the next person he sees is Jesus, but he follows Jesus. 
When you believe in Jesus and put your trust in Christ, God forgives you of all your sins. God saves you. And he opens up your eyes spiritually to the things of God. The next thing that we must do and should do is like this man, Bartimaeus. As his eyes were open physically, he followed Jesus down the road. It says immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus down the road. When you have believed in Jesus, put your trust in Christ. It is so important as you've repented of your sins, ask God to forgive you and have now a relationship with Jesus Christ to follow him as his disciple, to follow him in his word, to follow him in obedience. What a powerful story here that shows us the powerful God that we serve that can heal, that can restore, restore that is, that can save, that can open up your eyes. Maybe you're watching right now and you're not saved. Maybe your eyes are spiritually blind to the things of God. Satan has lied to you. Satan has blinded your eyes. I share with you the gospel of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Romans 3, 23, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. The Bible says in James 2, 10, if, you've, if you have offended in one point of God's law, you've offended all of it. But I have good news for you. 2,000 years ago, God sent his son, Jesus, to die on the cross. He took the wrath of God. He took the punishment of our sins. He can forgive you of your sins if you ask him to. He can forgive you if you turn from your sins and ask God by his blood that he shed on the cross to forgive you. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Bartimaeus, his eyes were opened. But I pray that the spirit of God is speaking and convicting your heart right now and showing you your need for repentance, showing you your need for Jesus and putting your trust in Christ alone. Because this man, Bartimaeus, his eyes were open. The first person he saw was Jesus, and then he followed him. Right now, I pray, if you're not right with God, that you would put your faith in Jesus Christ. God will forgive you of your sins, and your eyes would be open to who God is. And put your faith in Jesus Christ, and he will open the word of God to you. You'll begin to understand the things of God. You'll begin to understand what heaven is all about what it is as a citizen of heaven here on earth, as Christians, as we live, as this is not our home here on earth, and how God wants you to live through his word and through his love. If you're watching right now and you want to be saved from hell and you want to be forgiven of your sins through Jesus Christ and have your eyes open right now by, by God himself through Jesus Christ, as Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Would you put your faith in Jesus Christ right now? Ask God to forgive you of your sins. Would you pray with me? Romans 10, 9 it says, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised His Son, Jesus, from the dead, you will be saved. Right now, put your faith in Jesus alone and ask God to forgive you of all your sins. Pray with me now, O oh God, Heavenly Father, I ask you through your son, Jesus Christ, to forgive me of all my sins. I ask you to make me right with God. As I repent of my sins and turn from them, I believe that Jesus is the son of God, the savior of mankind, the savior of the world. Please be my savior. And by the blood that you shed on the cross, cleanse me of all my sins. And please save me from hell, O oh God. Give me eternal life in heaven and make me a child of the living God. I want my eyes spiritually to be opened by Jesus right now. Holy Spirit, take residence in my heart right now. Just like you open the eyes of Bartimaeus as he asked mercy on him. Oh God, I ask mercy on me a sinner and I repent and I ask you to have mercy on me and your grace and forgive me right now of all my sins and make me a child of God and make me a believer in Christ right now. 
From this day forward, I want to follow you and be obedient to your word and your commands. Write my name in the book of life again, Lord, in heaven I ask, in Jesus' name, amen. If that's you, would you please call me, 1-800-973-5543. Once again, get on the number, 1-800-973-5543. If you're watching by social media right now, Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube, would you please write me a message? I love to hear from you. I'll follow up with you. I look forward to hearing from you. If you have a prayer request, I also would love to hear from you as I pray for daily prayer requests for many that have written or called in on these broadcasts, and I look forward to hearing from you. If you have prayer requests for you and your family, please call me right now, 1-800-973-5543, or write me. I love to lift you up in prayer. If you would like to support Power to Change Crusades with Pastor Jim Doherty, you can write a check to Power to Change Crusades, Post Office Box 33901, Granada Hills, California, zip code 91344. Also, you can go online, look at the comments, Power the Number 2 Change, power to change .org, and you can hit the donate button and give there. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please share this devotional with someone. But I'm so grateful that... No not only do we see Jesus that he can restore someone, he can heal someone, but he also can save anyone who will ask him to forgive them and have mercy on them. We serve a risen Savior who is alive and well, who's coming again, and who can live inside of us for eternity, and we will be with him one day. God bless you. Thank you for watching.